Hey guys, and welcome to Roblox scripting tutorial number 11 of Skill Series, of course. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you about really quite new feature actually, which is called collision filtering. And first of all, I want to show you an example. So I have like uh, this basic contraption, which is just basically a conveyor. Um, a part which uh, needs to move and then oh my bad um, and then there is a part that blocks it and if we run um, the part should not be able to go through it yes as you can see it just gets stuck and nothing happens at all however um, with this feature or well feature actually and uh, probably a script also you should be able to make uh, some sort of like VAP doors or like um, if you are making a tycoon uh, to make your ores like to collide with only certain items uh, for example if you like make a dropper which covers the uh, conveyor's path um, it, um, droppers parts just uh, don't uh, make this uh, like or quote unquote stuck and yeah that is pretty cool so yeah uh, things might might just get a bit fixed I mean you could fix a couple of things or it's just pretty cool thing you can do anything with it pretty much so how to do this first of all we need to uh, access specific service called physics um, service and then we need to uh, do like this game com get service well I think you know how to do this because you watched before this unless you didn't so uh, then I just gonna advise give you an advice to watch previous tutorials unless you uh, if you don't know something so yeah we need to get the specific service as I said which is called physics um, not physical properties service like that and then uh, we need to make collision groups and this is how collision filtering works so we have group number one um, which uh, is probably like ores or parts or something you can call it any way you want of course uh, there can be more collision groups and more parts in those collision groups so let me just make a couple parts and then let me just move this part a little bit right there and now it should should be like two parts and what we have to do is make you can either make a variable uh, which refers to that group's name and we can call it like or group like that and equals uh, strings called or group uh, just in case you want to refer to this uh, later in the script you can do like that and then uh, also, um, you get the suggestion bar, so that's neat, and we need the local. And now we need like barrier group, I guess. Barrier group, like that, and then equals quotes, and then barrier group, like that. Really simple. And uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and rename it to barrier because it is a barrier in this case. Look like at that. Uh, I misspelled it again. Come on, I hate typos. But that's pretty much my fault, you know. Just saying. So next, we need to do a couple functions with the physics servers. Um, not sure if physics service has any other like purposes um let's see nope just this only one yes 
Yeah, apparently physics service has um, only the uh, functions and properties and stuff related to this specific um, thing, which is called collision filtering, obviously. So we need to access it and do physics, not physics properties, physics, um, physics, yeah. Oh, that was physics service. Apparently, it's not. And then we need to write column create collision group. And then those things. Um, assuming I I oh I did misspelled it. Of course. That's why I like the suggestion bar as I like to call it. And then we make collision group called R group because it's just a string it doesn't mean anything but words just the words but now we have a collision group and uh, we need another one to well I just gonna just go ahead and copy this like that just to make things a bit faster and then we need to call it barrier group barrier group and then delete this and here we have a couple collision groups and uh, but the problem is they are empty we need to fill them with something because we don't spe we didn't specify what uh, it should uh, contain so yeah now we need to go again and do such things like um you could do like directly access it but you may need to refer it again, so you can just do local, I don't know, uh, wall, or not wall, um, or one equals, um, first of all, there is a problem, because we need uh, rename it, or else script will not be able to tell the difference between part and part. And then R2, like that. And we need to access it. So we write workspace dot R1. And then uh, you guessed it. Local R, well, maybe from capital R2 equals workspace dot R2. Yeah, that's simple. We just access it, like so. Or you don't need that many variables, but. I know you may need to um, like refer it again so later in the script so that's just to make uh, things a bit more um, uh, organized I guess because uh, you don't need to rename, rename it later so that's cool and now we need to insert them in those collision groups so yeah <clears throat> Also, remember we need uh, the barrier to be inserted in the barrier group. So yeah, now we need to access the uh, barrier. So barrier, of course, uh, there might be a couple more uh, parts in your game or in your just testing place. So you could add uh, any. I think you can you can add like up to 60 parts or something well I can write just write fair limitations in this like side just to make uh, things a bit more clear because of course there are limitations and I believe you can create um, 60 groups at maximum or 30 um, including the default one and the default one is that uh, like every single part it collides with each other so yeah and uh, it it's something a bit different if you are wondering between can collide just checking this box because if you just set it to false it doesn't collide with anything at all and we want to it to collide with specific things so that's awesome now we need to access the barrier so workspace dot barrier and now we need to insert all those things I know you can just add a comment um, for example or group and barrier group but I think you I think it's clear enough so 
now we do like this um, of course you can uh, do this a bit differently maybe but I'm gonna do like that so um, I'm gonna probably tell you uh, later what do I mean so physics column set part collision group like that and then brackets and in those brackets we want um, first argument is uh, the actual collision group so in this case it will be called our group this one because we just added it obviously and second argument is the parts that you want to get um, this I believe works like in uh, arrays maybe let's test it um, of course you know how to make arrays or tables so you just try those brackets and well I did not test it this but let's see workspace dot r2 I'm not sure though let's see r1 and then let's run well it may throw an error but I'm not sure I'm not sure but if this doesn't work you need to write it separately um yeah something is something is not right um let's see line 15 yeah it doesn't work because uh you need a specific value so yeah that's a bit tedious i could say because you need to pretty much copy this all over and over again because it only accepts one um, specific part so yeah but uh, I mean you can just do control C control V and that should not make a lot of um, inconvenience so we can just change it um, and that's quite simple and now we need to do this the third time and just do like that just to makes a bit uh, make things a bit uh, more separate and then we need to write a barrier right there and we should be all good but of course there's a first step so yeah now we need to wait and as you can see uh, still doesn't want to work for some reason why though why uh what is wrong I'm not sure I'm able to cast value to object but it is oh oh i mean oh i think i did a mistake i think i need to switch them yeah that was my bad I think first argument is actually um, the part that you want to insert and second one is group yes that is my bad and I pretty much am positive that it should work now yeah that was a problem but I'm sure it is fixed and we are gonna try to add the uh, uh, table or array because I think this was the problem before let's see yes now it does work well I mean it doesn't do anything but at least it does work and it's slow for some reason weird and that was weird so let's try the table let's see no it doesn't know it doesn't work for some reason well that's a bit inconvenient yeah uh -huh. apparently it doesn't accept the object value I mean the table and the table is not really value but like something like folder I guess that contains values so yeah this does not work but now there is the third step and that is to make actual group 
to collide with something. So this will be really easy and you need only one line. Well, that line is quite long, but still. You need your access physics service again and um, you need to write collision group set collidable like that and then brackets of course and now we need the first first argument is um i mean first two arguments are the actual groups and I'm not sure. I don't think uh, that uh, the order of the groups actually matter. So we can just write um, from the bottom barrier group. Well, I mean from the bottom, this side, this side. Um, barrier group, comma, or group, not or one, or group. And then the third argument is actual set collidable, so false because we don't want it to be uh, to collide with each other and now if we run everything should work nope why okay apparently it was me again being stupid because barrier does not have to be in the or group it's so obvious and stupid and now it does work yeah and as you can see, it works perfectly. And yeah, that was it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this quite short tutorial actually. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.